back in Marseille, mate. <laughs> what does this whole competition and being in Marseille mean to you? It kind of essentially is what I know skateboarding is. It takes it back to grassroots skateboarding. You want to go to this contest. It's not like, oh, I'm, I need to go and get points. I need to do this. Yeah. It's like, I want to go and have an epic session with my mates and I'm going to go and do it in Marseille. When we talk with riders, they're like, hey, you know what? We just want to have a jam session with friend and enjoy it. Yeah. And with my friend doing a trick just in front of me, I'm going to have big motivation to do a bigger trick than him. So I'm like, that's the way. That's the Marsha style. All these Olympic fucking contests and the X Games and all this, it's just run, 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 run. Like, it's like, that's not that exciting. Like, you see these fucking dudes in this bowl, four at a time, like, swerving and just still doing the gnarliest shit. It's like, that's exciting and that's skateboarding. Here we're doing a jam. It's like an introduction run and then it's like a jam. And you can just do whatever tricks you want. It's kind of like a free for all. And that way you can like really fit in like, I think your creativity and like the tricks that you got instead of just like, I gotta put together a perfect 45 sec front, you know? Or... Yeah. It's less like an individual thing. It's more like a teamwork and a, yeah, maybe help to improve the, the skating, I guess. This is different. This is like a little escape window in their schedule, you know, where they can just express themselves without being too worried about the judges or, or the coaches or, you know, it's like, yeah, full throttle, pedal to the metal. Gym session make you like, learn or like try crazy tricks you will not try in a row. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Fun. Like we're all together having fun, almost running into each other. The energy is crazy in the moment and you're in there skating with everyone. It's kind of like you forget and you've got so much adrenaline pumping through your body that you're just like, I don't even care if I crash into someone. Like it's just, ah, oh, it's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> your brain's saying you're going to hurt yourself and you can't do it. And you're saying, I'm going to do it. Not that it matters because you want the points or you want to get that first prize money. It matters here. Like, it matters to you and that energy that when that person lands it after 15, 20 goes, everyone explodes. At the time, in the 90s, when, when the ball popped up, out of nowhere, you know, right on the beach back in 91, all of a sudden it was like right here in front of us. Marseille's always been a wonderful host city to have an event like this here. It's never been about sport here, it's always been about culture. So it's just, you know, super rad skateboard. The park is designed perfect too. It's, it's like a snake run in and it's all mellow. It's, the lines just work so well. You don't really have to force it too hard, which is one of the reasons why I think this bowl is so legendary. Everyone looks at these things on TV, on the web, or their phone, whatever it is, and they're like, oh, that looks so sick. I can't wait to skate that park. It's not perfect. And that's the best thing about it. It, it resembles a swimming pool. It's got like kinks in the places where you wouldn't expect that. This is a world-renowned hip. When I first came here in 95 with Wade Spire, we shot on the hip. We got the cover of Thrasher. Wade burns Europe. It's also the skate park from Tony Hawk Pro Skater Second, right? It's everyone saying that, I know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean, I started skating because of the video game. The fact that there was like a level in the game that was a real place you could go to and as a kid I'm like holy shit like I want I gotta go there you know it's a real video game level.
what's interesting to me is to see like this new generation of transition rippers. Like Vince has got the most insane lines here, and he's already a veteran of this park, but still so young. A huge reason I'm out here is because of Vincent Mathero, and like he's like a brother to me. He's seriously the best dude ever, and like. Honestly, that's why like so many of us are here is because like he's such an epic human. He's keeping the fucking Marseille dream alive, you know? I'm really happy like to bring all like my friends to Marseille and skate with them on that crazy location. More freestyle and like all together. The adrenaline is here. Make you like push you into the limits. I mean the minute you walk into the park. It's sort of like everyone's smiling, having a session, like... That's the most important thing for me, and you know what? That's all the... the actually, the Vince's friend, Vincent asked them to come to his hometown and say, hey, guys, let's have fun at my hometown, and that's... We're super hyped to, to get everyone here. I've been coming here for almost 30 years, so it's just... It's like I have to come, yeah. you know? I get to see all my friends again and meet new friends and see the young kids skating, and... It's just, I'm just drawn to this place. I don't know why, it's just always been like that. Yeah. Captures what skating is really all about. It's just like constant mayhem, skating in like this beautiful spot. And it's just crazy, like watching everyone skate and just going after it. It's, it's a really good contest. People are here because they love skateboarding, because they love traveling and getting into the sun on the beach. Not because there's like Olympic points uh, yeah. you know, on the line and all this kind of stuff. So I think this is like a, more of a true sort of grassroots event, you know? Yeah, yeah. Being able to skate something as gnarly as Marseille just is tantamount to how good women's skateboarding is right now. And, and the progression is so rapid. It's, it's certainly one of the most exciting parts of skateboarding that I see at the moment. I personally like, like watching the women's contest more than the men's because the progression is faster. Someone's doing some crazy new shit, you know? Like... Yeah. The women are ripping. They're at a high, high level of skateboarding. I mean, they're doing kickflip indies over the hip, and I mean, it's it's on. The girls are insane, man. Yeah. They give me chicken skin when they skate. It's crazy. Bryce's line is by far the most creative. We filmed the line and it was like, she for sure did the longest follow line. Obviously her Bryce tricks, you know, like. Yeah. Ruby, like she has it super figured out too, but like just does like really good looking tricks properly. Her flow is super good. Poppy, we filmed a line yesterday. Oh, it's the that? sickest thing ever. Like down the thing, around the corner, backside air, off the cork, and then up on the spine to wall ride from flat backside into the thing. It was so sick. Yareen, you know, she's crazy. Like her line was the first one I filmed and she just did a first try. Like she's just that good, you know? Like some of the girls don't even need to practice really. Like someone like her just showed up and yeah, it's so sick to see, you know? With the girls, it's such a small community that most of us know each other and get hyped off each other skating. And when your friend does something, it just gets you pumped up to land your tricks. So we all kind of feed off each other. And it's just in the jams, like seeing your friends land tricks next to you. And it's just it's so much energy to feed off. And it's kind of hard to explain, but it, it's just great. Yeah. <laughs> You can't reproduce the energy that is born on the mountain and in the crowd. It seems like this crazy energy transfer of someone does something, someone else feeds off of it. It's that moment you've got that adrenaline running through you, but it's something that you just want and want all yeah. the time, but it's such a small window. You're obviously on the high now from, from being in a heat. Like, what's that feeling that you get when it's when it's all going on? Well,
what's that energy like when it is, you know, 2,000 people here screaming, having a good time? Like, what, what's that feeling like? I love when the crowd scream. When you feel that energy from them, it means that they are feeling what you are doing. It's like dance. I mean, we can do the same moves, but different styles, so that vibes is what you transfer to the crowd. People who didn't make things in their run and they can't stop. It's like that whole, I can't leave it there. It's, it's an unfinished yeah. novel, it's, really it's an unfinished song. I got, I got this on my ear. Hey, we have to go away, we have to just move forward, move forward. I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Do your trick! <laughs> yeah. Do the trick! This is skateboarding, let's go! <laughs> That's the real skateboarding. Yeah. That's the moment. That's the, that's the moment, exactly. And to be honest, OK, the results are crazy. But this moment is just like the craziest moment for, for Yorin. It's going to be gnarly to her. And she, she's going to remember that thing maybe more than the trophies. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And I think everyone else will take that with them as well. They'll be like, I remember that moment so clearly. This is sick. You know, and that's, that's the essence of skateboarding, and that's what Marseille is. That's the real skateboarding spirit. <laughs> <laughs>